Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening and happy Friday. I love Friday. What's your favorite day, Nick? Friday. Friday too. I go to swimming pool. But today, uh -huh. get Corona people. Mm. The corona, uh, the corona that in that in the corona inhale be. Mm, people inhale coronas. People inhale corona every. Mm, right. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So you like Friday because you go to swimming pool, right? No. Yes, but yes. I don't swim in, swim today because Corona or so many and I cannot go. Ah, okay. Yeah, you're right. So there are a lot of people who are affected by coronavirus. So it's better if you stay at home. But did you go but did you go out today? Kindergarten. Ah, just only in kindergarten. And after that, you went immediately at home. Okay, so don't worry. Maybe when the coronavirus is weak, so you can go back to swimming, right? Sam, tonight, you can also go swimming tonight. So you just open your shower <laughs> and then you go swimming. Is that right? <laughs> Okay, so, and you can enjoy because there are no people who are swimming in your bathroom. So only you. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you, could you still remember here? We have a picture of the animal. What animal is this? Well. A, okay, yeah, a squirrel. So I am the tall squirrel because I'm a teacher and you're a small squirrel because you are small you're my student <laughs> look at you you're smiling right here <laughs> okay now next since today is friday <laughs> so what do you want to do do you want to play or do you want to study only study okay but no reading story Our today Okay, sure. Like I promised, so no reading of story. So we are just going to study. But before we begin, let us review, okay? So yesterday, we studied about natural... What was that again? Natural disaster. Very good. So we studied yesterday all about natural disasters. So natural disasters, it means that something that can make our earth ugly and can uh, make our houses destroy and uh, some other the animals and people die because of natural disasters can you give me examples of natural disasters nick um give me only five that you could remember we have volcano oh we said volcanic eruption, eruption. Uh, very good. Number two? Earthquake. Earthquake. Ah, good job. Three? Hmm. Wildfire. Oh, very good. A wildfire. And? Tornado. Tornado. And lastly? Tornado. And the and the there's a lot of huge water coming to the land. What is that? Tsunami. Tsunami. Okay, good job. So out of these five natural disasters, which one are you scared of? You're very very scared, Nick. Which natural disaster are you scared of? All? <laughs> Are you scared mm -hmm. of all the natural disasters? No, earthquake only. 
Oh, okay, so you're scared of earthquake because it's gonna shake, 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 shake. Not only the land. <laughs> ah, yes, and also it will shake the building, right? The the and land will... will crack and some buildings will fall down. Oh, wait a second. Can you hands up? Hands up? Hands up now? Can you read? Wow, I love your t-shirt. What's the name? Earth? Your your t-shirt. Your t-shirt. There's a name on your t-shirt. Can you no. hands up again? Hands up. Hands up. Oh yeah, in your t-shirt. Earth. Earth. Wow, Earth. I I like your t-shirt. It's Earth. <laughs> You're like a scientist, so you have a good t-shirt. Okay, now, <laughs> so this time, we are going to study the next lesson. So this is not natural disaster. So today, we're going to talk about flowers. Wow. Okay, again, let me show you. Wait a second. Here, can you show this? Can you see this? Yeah. Uh -huh. So today, we're going to talk about flowers. And when we're talking about mm. having many flowers, we're talking about pollination. Can you say it again? Pollination. Good job. Pollination. Do you want to do it five times, pollination? Pollination, 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 pollination. That's Polynesia. too much. Okay, we're very good. Wow, another star. <laughs> All right, so how many stars now? As as good as I remember, there are 120 stars plus another star. So you have. I, I don't know. Oh, ah, but no. Not you have that, maybe. 121 stars. Okay. Oh, you yes, you don't know what pollination is. So later, no, we're... no. I I just I don't know I uh, I, I don't know what what I am um, what I I cannot remember how many stars. <laughs> yeah, you have one hundred twenty stars. Like one. I will write it one twenty plus one star today. Okay, and later, if you keep in answering, I'll give you one, two, three, and you add to 120 stars. Okay, okay, uh, so now let us go here. Today, we're going to talk about pollination. Now, let us begin with here. What can you see? Flowers. Ah, there's a lot, a lot of flowers. You're right. There's a lot of flowers. And, and, and we call it. 100 rabbits. Yes. There's, uh, you can see flowers. Where can you see flowers, Nick? Up in the grass. Yeah, in the ground. Do you see that in the school? No. No flowers in school. What about do you see flowers in the garden? No. I didn't have <laughs> so here we have flowers in our garden and there are different kinds of flowers. Mm, can you see what colors of the flowers, Nick? What are the colors that you can see? Yellow, white, orange, and purple. Yeah, so there are different kinds of colors of flower. So talking about flowers, What's your favorite flower? I think white. Uh huh. So what's the name of flower? So you know there are a lot of flowers. We have sunflower. We have yeah. daisy, orchid. Daisy. There rose. are rose. Yeah. What's your favorite flower? White rose, I think. White rose, yeah. yeah. It smells. They are also, they are also me rose, a small size, right? Ah. Me rose. Me rose. Ah, all right. Okay, yeah, you're right. And my favorite flower is this. Do you know what's that? Yeah, you can I see that. Know. 
in the Philippines. In the Philippines, we call it gumamela. Gumamela. Yeah, that's uh, that's in the Philippines. But in English, that we call it hibiscus. Hibiscus. Yeah, hibiscus flower. But if you go to Philippines, this you can see this everywhere in the garden and in the park. We have gumamela flower. And gumamela flower, they are different colors. So you can see what are the colors that you can see, Nick? Pink, white, yellow, red. Pink, white, yellow, uh, red. Yeah, you're right. So you can see pink, red, white, and yellow. And also, in the Philippines, in Punta Villa, have you seen a uh, gumamela there? In the school in the Philippines? <laughs> no. no, you did not yeah. see. I guess they have the flowers there, gumamela flowers. Gumamela. And do you know the parts of a flower, Nick? No. no. Uh, so today we are going to study the parts of the flower. And I know only ovary getting to seeds. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so because of ovary, we can make fruits. And other flowers, they don't have any fruits. So we call it later pollination. Okay, here. There are different kinds. These are the parts of the flower. Look at that. It's so difficult. I can't. I cannot. I you guess, don't worry. I cannot. This one is will be easy for you. So let's begin with studying first the simple part of the flower. So let's start with stem. So the stem is stem. right here. So here is the stem. Okay? Okay. So that is a stem. Next, you are going to start with petal. Petal. Uh, so the petal Little is petal. in the pink one. Here. Pink, pink one. one. Here. Petal. Okay. Ovaries. Uh, so, uh, so later we're Inside going to talk. Ovary, right? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the ovary is in the middle. But later we're going to talk about it. Okay. Now next is sepal. Sepal is the sepal. green one. Here. Uh, here. This one is a sepal. Can you see this? Ah, uh, this... uh, leaf, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. But this one is a sepal, is the green one. So as you can see, their leaf, there's the under there, we call it sepal. Okay? Sepal. Now, yeah. next, we also have receptacle. Ah, uh, teacher will. Receptacle. Uh, hold on, I will write it here. Receptacle. So the receptacle. Rece Hmm. The receptacle holds the, the sepal and the petal. Okay? Okay. Oh, wait a second. Where is that? Hold on. Where is uh, that? Uh, here. Uh, Where is that? Receptacle is here in the middle. Okay? Okay. Uh, so, again, let us do it. Can you say what are the... Simple parts of the flower we have stem, receptacle, sepal, sepal, and petal. Petal. Okay, again, let's close our mouth, uh, our eyes. Okay, now close our eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count seven, eight. Seven, Nine, eight. ten. Open your mouth or open your eyes. Sorry. <laughs> now, let us identify the parts of the flower. What part is this? Stem. Stem. You're right. Okay, that one is a stem. On the next one here, what part of the flower is this? Receptacle. Good job. Wow, so smart. You remember receptacle. And here, what part of the flower is this? Se, se, sepal. Sepal. Okay, that one is a sepal. But what about the pink? This one here? Yeah. 
The flower is like a paper. Yeah, right? you're right. <laughs> that one is a petal. So remember, the sepal is green in color. It's under the petal. And the receptacle holds the ovary. Here. Okay. Here. Okay. Now. This one. Which one? I cannot see. Here, here. Receptacle is here. Here. It's in the middle. Okay? In the middle. Now, this okay. time, we are going to study uh, here the male and female. Don't you know that flowers, they also have male and female reproduction? Just like a baby. Ah! Right? The mother, last time we studied about male reproduction and female reproduction. Flowers, they also have that one. So here in the middle, you can see the ovary. That's the female reproduction. Okay? This means it's a girl. <laughs> the outside here is the male. Okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, now let's open here. Let's start with male. So for male, they only have two. So you can see here we have this one is anther. Anther. And the one that holds the anther is a filament. Filament. Okay, again we have anther filament. A filament. Say it again. Filament. A filament. Filament. Very good. So the anther and filament, we call it stamen. 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 Ah, so again, what is what do you call the male reproduction, Nick? Stamen. Stamen. Okay, so this male reproduction is a stamen. What about, let's go mm. now inside. This one is female for girl's flower. We have the female reproduction is we called carpel. 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 So carpel is very mm -hmm. long. So from here until to the ovary, as you can see. Uh, so here we can start with this one is, can you say, stigma. Stigma. Uh, so stigma in the flower, they are very wet. Okay, so the pollen grains, the pollen, the very powder will come to the stigma and then will come down. Okay, next, can you say style? Style. Pollen tube. Pollen tube. Ovary. Ovary. So ovary is the one that, uh, the oblong, so that's ovary. And get it the seed, right? The Ah, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, the seed will grow there. Aha, you're right. Next. And the next one here. If the pollen will come down to the ovary and then they will grow up just like a baby, we call it ovule. Ovule. Okay, good job. Now, <gasps> teacher, that's too many. Oh, I cannot follow. Let's do it again. Can we do it? Well, let's, let's go with, what is the male reproduction, Nick? Steam. Ah, can you say? Stamen. Stamen. Ah, male reproduction again? Stamen. Good job. What is the stamen? Stamen are? Anther and filament. Filament. Very good. Okay, again, what is the stamina? Mm, anther. Filament. Very good. Okay, anther and filament. What about what is the female reproduction? Female reproduction? Carpel. carpel. So what is between, uh, what is in the carpel? We have... Stigma, style, pollen tube, ovary, ovule. Yes, good job. Now I'll give you five stars. One, two, three, <gasps> four, five. Okay, so 121 plus five stars. So you have 126 now. One twenty-six stars now. Yay! 
Okay. So many. Yes, yeah. yeah, so many. Okay. And now, any questions here? Questions? Now, so this time, we're going to study how does a flower make a fruit? So let's look at here. So again, so there are two kinds of flower. The flower that can make fruits or vegetables and the flower that doesn't make fruits and vegetables. Uh, here, so we call that pollination. Okay, and oh, teacher will we'll see it here. So you can see the the yellow one. We call it pollen grains. Okay. Pollen grains. Pollen grains. The pollen grains is in the filament. So uh, uh, filament. Uh, let's go back again here. Uh, here. Okay. Here. This one is here. Uh, anther. Anther. Okay. Let's go with anther and filament. Okay, so it means this one here is boys, the boys flower. <laughs> okay, in the boys flower, there are many pollen grains. Look at this. A teacher will draw pollen grains. Oh, cannot do. Hold on. Second. Here. Pollen grains. Make it blue. Wait a second. Uh, so here, there are many pollen grains in the anther. We call it pollen, just like powder. So call it. What do you call this? Pollen grains. Okay. Pollen grains. Or pollen. <laughs> Can you see the blue? Blue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this one is a pollen grain. Sorry. So the pollen grains will. Blow by the air. Okay. And the pollen grains will fly, fly, fly. And then the pollen grains will go to the... What is this? Stamen. Stamen. Uh, uh, sorry. Stigma. <laughs> okay. Stigma. So here, again, the pollen grains, when you blow it, so they will go to the stigma. And then the pollen grains will go to the style will go to the ovary and then such a long time they will become fruits okay okay any pretend feet right <laughs> <laughs> what about bees yeah bees sometimes aside from 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 the air or from the wind, the bees too. The bees, every time that they want to, they go to the flower. So the bees will fly and then the pollen grains will stick to the bees' feet. And then the bees will come to stigma and the pollen grains will come here. And then it will make an ovulation. Okay? okay. All right. How ovulation do? <laughs> Don't worry, tomorrow we're going to study, okay? Another pollination. We haven't finished yet. There are two kinds of pollination. All right. So before we end, Nick, let us review, okay? Review. Review time. Review is you're going to tell teacher the parts of the flower. Difficult. Ah, that's okay. We have here. Leaf, petal, pistol, sapo, salmon, and stem. So let's start with here. What is this? Stem. Stem. Very good. That one is a stem. Next one. Here. Is it petal or sepal? Petal. Okay, that one is a petal. So below petal, what is this? Oh, here. Wait a second. Here, below petal is? Thing. Ah, sure. This one is se sepal. Here, sepal. here, here. Sepal. So, you remember stem, petal, sepal. And in between here, what is that? Ah, here, this is? What is this? Sta. Stamen. Uh -huh. The male reproduction uh -huh. is stamen. 
The female reproduction is pistil. Pistil. Yeah, you're right. Pistil. Pistil. Okay. And this one here below, we did not study. This is leaf. 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 Okay. Don't worry. Uh, teacher will send this to your mom's cacao so that you can study in your free time. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Yay! Time is over. <laughs> All right. Thank you for having a class. Do you have any question with teacher? Questions? No question. You are so smart. Imagine teacher only teach you the pollination, but you could still remember the parts of the flower. So you have to keep up the good work. Okay? Study more. Okay. So you can watch on YouTube all about pollination. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see it. <laughs> you don't see it? Um, you, pollination? Okay. So see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.